So hello everyone, this is Garima Garg and today I'm here with, the, with an expert. So I'll begin with the short introduction first. So I'm here with Dr. Pavan Kumar Jain. He is a naturopath, public health expert and WASH specialist. He's completed his BNYS in 2015 from Gandhi Naturopathic Medical College, Hyderabad. And further, he had completed his MPH from Tata Institute of Social Sciences and later UNICEF and TISS joined PGD in water, sanitation, and hygiene. He has also worked in NIN as a research officer for a year. He has worked with India's leading NGOs like Tata Trust, Care India. Currently, he is working as a monitoring officer in UNICEF Maharashtra. So today he'll be sharing his experience uh, in MPH and the career opportunities for the PNYS graduates after doing MPH or after doing any kind like in the public health sector. So I welcome you, sir, on this platform. Of so much, Garima. I like. I am very curious about like uh, as a BNYS graduate, we just think of like uh, either we go to MD or uh, like one can think of MSc in nutrition or yoga. So how you choose like MPH? What was the motivation behind choosing MPH? Okay, so I should start with um, see after completion of my graduation, I have done uh, some clinical practice or almost of uh, one year. So I've done in few naturopathy uh, clinics in Hyderabad. So I always wanted to do any kind of master. So a few of my classmates, they you know, joined in MD in different institutes in South India. So I also wanted to join, but there are kind of uh, economically, um, uh, I was not prepared. So then I was exploring the options. So by then, uh, I have one. I had one senior. His name is Ashok Adavat. So he was. He had done uh, MPH from Tata Institute of Social Sciences, which is in Mumbai. So I was also like uh, kind of uh, uh, exploring the options for MPH. What are the institutes and uh, where are they? What what could be the you know fees and all. So by then, then um, so at that time, MPH admission time was over in the Tata Institute. So what I did, I joined a postgraduate diploma. That's a nine months course, which is also in uh, Tata Institute. So then I completed that. That is a TIS and uh, UNICEF. This is Tata Institute of Social Sciences. TIS and UNICEF joint program, um, kind of nine months program, which has a very good opportunity after that. So we'll come to uh, we'll come about it later. But okay. so that I joined that course. Then I joined MPH, Masters in Public Health. I think the, I mean, uh, Tata Institute of Social Sciences, Mumbai. So then, yeah, then I, uh, I will like, uh, then I joined uh, National Institute of Naturopathy and then after, you know, few NGOs and everything. So this is basically to sum of, uh, sum of everything um, I got to know from my seniors. So definitely I will say that seniors help a lot in this. And we have like very good seniors in BNYS. I must say that. So did you face any difficulty like oh, which college to choose for MPH or like it was just a decision that I'll do from Tata Institute only. So what was the reason behind choosing yeah. the Tata Institute? Well, I was exploring the options. Um, so one thing is for sure, see if you want to do MPH or kind of administrative courses or management courses. Let's say health administration or hospital administration or hospital management or any kind of course or public health. So you always have to do from a very good institute. Let's say premier institutes in India. So they'll provide you a very good placement. So uh, uh, always choose a very best institute or else you do explore other options. So there is, you know, um, you do MPH from a very normal institute that there would be no much weightage. Uh, I mean, no, it won't add up your career. So always choose that best in institute that I came to know by then. So okay. I have uh, I used to you know, explore the options. Then I came across few institutes. So um, so first I've, I've given, uh, I mean, entrance for the HCU, Hyderabad Central University, and got, I got the course there. But I wanted to do even, even uh, in, 
I mean, not kind of better institute, but I don't want to stay in my state that my, by then because I want to, you know, study in North states so that my communication skills at least will improve. That kind of thought. So I do. I don't know much of Hindi also at that time. So I was like struggling and English also kind of. But so when I went there, then in the entire two three years of span, I you know completed so much. I, mean, I you know like learned so much things. So I had to you. Obviously, I left. Then I, I used to have other option, uh, something called I was exploring IIHMR, uh, um, which is in Jaipur. So okay. Indian in she good uh, placements, but also um, uh, entrance is kind of comparatively very easy. So okay. I wanted to go there, but then again, uh, kind of again. So we have to pay little high high fees. So I stayed back for one year and then I joined the institute. Okay, so there is like entrance kind of thing to if we want to join MPH or we can take the direct admission. Like, is it compulsory to sit in any entrance if we want to join MPH? Ah, uh, it's optional. I mean, like okay. you are uh, a regular follower of what's happening outside of news and everything, you know, current affairs and you're a little bit good at aptitude and uh, social sciences. Uh, okay. So these kind of uh, things help, but again, it depends on many other things also. It depends on institute also. Like okay. um, uh, institute, they ask only about health or public health in the entrance exam. Whereas okay. few other institutes, they, you know, keep common entrance exam for uh, many other courses also their uh, universities so they keep they kind of keep a common entrance for everyone so that you know questions will come from every aspect few social sciences aspect and you know health aspect and then again you know the other the geography or let's say other all those uh, you know department questions so tata institute used to have a common entrance so there will be you know there will be one paper for everyone okay so then you have to be prepared it all depends on um, you know kind of institute. So HCU only you know ask questions about health and public health. So it is comparatively a bit easy for us. Okay, 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 that's great. So like, how was your experience in MPH? So is it like kind of a regular course you have to daily go to the college like we did in BNYS? Uh, we used to really go to college, 75% attendance is compulsory and all. So like, how was your experience overall? Like projects, assignments, and research. So everything is there in MPH. So how was your experience? So during the course, Garima, I would say, like, um, so there might be courses in the distance mode, but I always, you know, uh, suggest to do a regular course in, for MPH. So that's why I said premier institutes, right? So yeah. always try to do a regular course and then if you are doing a regular course and doing from a premier institute, they I mean, give you so many assignments and you know, so many field works would be there, internships should be there and hectic classes should be there. So that kind of, you know, things will help you. So, and obviously it's the same scenario of 75% of attendance, uh, is compulsory this, this is common for every institute but if you want to really you know make mph as career then you need to seriously you know give 100 yeah. percent of your time and that two years uh, is the foundation of our career in future okay so, like, uh, what in all possibilities are there after doing MPH? Like, if we had completed our MPH, so what in all possibilities opened up for, for a graduate? Okay. Let me start with, uh, if you are a clinical person or you want to do clinicals after your course, BNYS, then just doing MPH or administrative course won't be so much help, helpful for you. So that's one point. So if you are a clinical person, you want clinical side, then do MD or any emergency medicine kind of, uh, you know, post-graduations or, you know. So there are uh, plenty of uh, para-diploma 
courses also, yeah. also paramedical courses also. Yeah, there are many. Uh, so those kind of um, courses will help you. But if you want to do other than clinical courses, or you are open to, then MPH or administrative courses are, I mean, like a very um, will give you will open up very large. Uh, I mean, you know, open into very uh, different domains. So you after doing MPH. Uh, if you are interested in research, you can do, I mean, research either individually or join uh, NGOs and do research on different things. Uh, or ICMR kind of uh, medical institutes or other research agencies will hire you. If you okay. are from a very good, you have a very good academic track and everything. So then other thing is if you want to do a government job in the public health side, then now public health sector is like a blooming sector for now. It's, it has, I mean, very good openings. So, government side, you'll get uh, your job, but they always, always remember that you should be a student of a premier institute and your track record should be very nice. So, then you can have these uh, state level or let's say central level or district level jobs in you know, every sector. You know, let's say in the district level, you can handle a program you can be a program manager or a program uh, officer from the state level and the and the central level so those government jobs also, also open for you yeah like then you uh, want to do whatever we earn doesn't matter but our parents are like this is kind of mentality in india especially i'll say that our parents always want us to do like the only the government sector job so that is a kind of very good yeah. opportunity for the bnys graduates if they are searching for a job in the public sector or like in government jobs, so they can definitely go for MPH and then uh, make their career in that. So I would say there, there would be contractual jobs jobs only in the government because there is as such no permanent uh, jobs okay. in government uh, according to some new regulations. So there would be a contractual job, but it would be, you know, it goes on nothing to worry yeah okay. so those kind of options will be open uh, you if you want to work with ngos they'll pay you a very handsome money so ngos will be other good options and you can you got you learn so many things you can explore different different ngos uh, so that kind of options are there then other than that healthcare it is a very good opportunity if anyone is interested um in you know doing uh, I mean, doing kind of uh, data analysis or good data of people. So that kind of sector is also open and they comparatively pay you very good salaries and a number of jobs are open. So that is a very good sector to explore. So that would, that will also, that would also be open for you after MPH or health administration or hospital administration. But just remember one thing, um, if you do hospital administration, then your um, uh, domain is a little bit restricted. You, you, you know, uh, can do a hospital administrator or kind of that kind of job only or hospital management. So that okay. kind of, you know, your career of this will restrict, but, uh, but still hospital administration or hospital management jobs are comparatively, you know, uh, comes with good salary and number of jobs are also more in that particular sector. If one is so, interested in so the administration and management kind of thing, then they can opt for this MHA. Yeah. And uh, okay. if they are like more of exploratory and enthusiastic and want to explore new, new things, then they can go for MPH because we, we have to work with some NGOs or in the government sector also, like you are doing presently with the UNICEF. So it will get a lot of like exploration in the society. So that's how we can choose either MPH or MHA. Are there